Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about allele specific PCR. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what is allele specific PCR? Allele specific PCR or the allele specific polymerase chain reaction, the ASPCR, is also known as the amplification refractory mutation system or the ARMS or PCR amplification of specific alleles or the PAC. It's a PCR based method which can be employed to detect the specific variations or mutations in the DNA. Since the PCR amplification is targeting the single nucleotide polymorphism or the mutation in the alleles, this PCR technique is called as the allele specific PCR. In the case of uh, allele specific PCR, the primers are designed to specifically recognize and amplify a particular allele or a variation of the gene. For example, if a gene has two known alleles, one normal and one mutated, the two sets of primer can be designed for one for each allele and the reaction is then performed and the specific amplification of one allele over the other can indicate the presence of uh, corresponding mutation. For example, uh, the commonly uh, used method for uh, you know, differentiating different genotypes of uh, human disorders, different uh, genetic conditions can be done using the allele specific PCR. The concept of allele specific PCR was initiated by uh, the Professor Newton and in this approach the specific primers are designed to permit amplification by DNA polymerase only if the nucleotide at the pre-prime end of the primer perfectly complements the base at the variant or the wild type sequence. So there are two types of uh, you know primer sets can be designed one for targeting the mutated uh, mutated uh, sequence and one for the wild type. So this is especially useful uh, for genotyping application uh, where uh, there are presence of homozygous mutant and heterozygous mutants. So to differentiate that uh, generally uh, two uh, primers are designed to target one mutant sequence and the one wild type sequence. Several innovative approaches have been employed to detect the presence of specific PCR product. Some of them are based on uh, probe hybridization which requires a specific labeled probe and uh, melting curve analysis which requires nucleic acid stains. So there are different approaches uh, for the detection strategies which we will uh, cover in the uh, upcoming slides. The allele specific PCR is very useful uh, for a variety of applications including the genetic testing, diagnosis of uh, genetic disorders and uh, population genetic studies. It is a highly sensitive and uh, specific technique that can accurately detect even small amounts of target DNA and which makes it a very useful tool for research and uh, clinical applications. Let's look at the uh, principle of allele specific uh, PCR. The principle of allele specific PCR is based on a selective binding of primers, probes or restriction enzyme to specific regions of the target DNA. Here you can see uh, the primer design strategy uh, that is followed in the allele specific PCR. Here there is a normal sequence and a mutated sequence. If you want to target a um, normal sequence, so a deliberate mismatch is uh, added uh, to bring about the specificity. And whereas in case of uh, mutant primer, you can see X mark denotes that this uh, particular you know uh, reaction will not amplify or produce any. Uh, PCR product. Whereas in case of mutant sequence that is targeting the mutated sequence, so in that case a mutant primer will amplify the sequence. If there is a mutation present, the mutant primer can amplify that target. Whereas um, in case of wild type, a mutant primer will not amplify the wild type, only the wild type sequence will get amplified. So let's see uh, different approaches and uh, strategies for the detection. So there are four main uh, strategies I have described here, one is the TACMAN based, and the other one is melting curve analysis based, and there is uh, restriction fragment length, and the other one is the probe based. So probe based, TACMAN based allele specific PCR. This strategy uses a uh, fluorescent probe, that is the TACMAN probe. So in this case, the primers are targeting the mutated sequence. And the probe is common, uh, the probe is common, and uh, uh, you know, the fluorescent probe specifically recognizes and binds to the target DNA. The uh, probe will get cleaved during the application. So, if there is a, a perfect match, there is a mutant primer is present, then the reaction will amplify and give out the PCR signal. Coming to the second part, that is the uh, melting curve based allele specific PCR. This strategy is based on the differential melting behavior of the amplified DNA. 
uh, fragments between the wild type and the mutant alleles. You can see uh, in the image below here. So there is a different uh, melting temperature for the wild type and the mutant sequences. And if there is a uh, heterozygous mutant, even that peak will shift the melting TM peak will shift and based on this we can genotype the, the uh, condition. Coming to the restriction fragment length uh, polymorphism, uh, this strategy is based on the specific regression of specific DNA sequence by a restriction enzyme. So in this case a normal PCR or the allele specific PCR combined with restriction uh, fragment length polymorphism can be applied. Certain people, the newer technologies uses a fluorescent labeled uh, labeled oligos so, so that can be run on an uh, uh, you know um, an electrophoresis system and uh, the fragment length can be analyzed earlier this is done in a normal agarose electrophoresis and different length of the fragments were identified and compared against the wild type sequences so as mentioned earlier there is a probe based allele specific pcr uh, why this is called probe based allele specific pcr because the probe is targeting the mutation mutated region. So, we will have two probes, one is wild type probe and the mutant probe. This is targeting the uh, mutation and not the primers. Primers can be outside this region and uh, if there is a mutation, you will get uh, uh, the wild type will probe will not bind to the uh, mutant sequence uh, vice versa and if there is a specific uh, mutation, it will bind. So, in this case, uh, two different fluorophores can be used in the probes and the genotyping can be done using these probes. Each of these uh, strategies has its own advantages and limitations and the choice of the strategy will depend on the specific requirements of the research or the clinical application. So in general, the goal of the allele specific PCR is to specifically detect the presence of a particular allele or the identification of a particular mutation and the choice uh, definitely will depend on uh, the sensitivity, specificity and the ease of use or the uh, target method which you want to Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.